Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Film Explosion. My 600 Pound Life is a truly inspiring and popular show on television. It stands out from many other shows of its kind. You will see plenty of reality shows documenting weight loss journeys of many people in different ways, but they don't seem much real. However, My 600 Pound Life is real as it portrays the lives of real people and their struggles. The show helps people to regain a normal lifestyle by losing their excessive weight. Many people living in a heartbreaking situation due to overweighing have gained hope from it and look towards changing their life. However, some people are much stubborn and in denial of their compulsive habits. Here is a list of people who went out of control on the show. Number one, James King. My last meeting with the doctor, uh, I don't think it went as good as I planned. James King weighed almost 790 pounds and was very delusional about his lifestyle. He could not stick to the diet and exercise regimen recommended by the doctors and fell prey to his inner wishes. He somehow managed to convince his wife to bring him high calorie food while he stayed in the hospital. She sneaked the food behind the doctor's back. As a result, he began to gain a lot of weight once again, and his problem escalated. James adopted a defensive behavior and denied the fact that he was gaining weight due to the food his wife was sneaking in for him. Instead of showing any improvement, James gained 100 pounds in one month and went out of control. Number two, Lisa Fleming. I've been sitting up on the side of the bed. But you haven't been walking. Lisa Fleming's daughter had discovered that there were maggots literally living in the folds of her skin. It proved to be a wake-up call for the family, and at that time, she was weighing 700 pounds. Under the supervision of experts, Lisa started to lose some weight initially, but as soon as she was back home, she depicted her unwillingness to change her situation. She began to gain weight again and was thus dismissed from the show. Number 3. Angela Johns. Being able to find a place to live in Houston, maybe we're not even to that point with her yet. Angela Johns had a bad history of drug addiction, rape, abuse, and prison time. All of this compelled her to take comfort in food, and thus, she gained more than 640 pounds. She was furious about the show team and Dr. Now, and claimed she was being pushed hard. Moreover, she manipulated her family and continued to abuse drugs. She was getting an ultimatum to opt between continuing or ending her weight loss journey. She remained delusional and decided not to go for rehab. Number 4. Nicole Lewis. Thankfully, after gastric sleeve surgery and a complete lifestyle overhaul, Lewis managed to shed over 300 pounds. Nicole was married and couldn't even come out of the bathroom door or bathe her kids. Instead, her mother helped them. She was devastated due to this condition. Her situation also made her bathing difficult. She got to be over 700 pounds. She was motivated in the start to lose her weight, but later on, she could not continue due to her delusion. Number five, Stephen Asante. And now this hospital is asking me to leave because they can't help people my size because I'm too morbidly obese. Stephen Asante gained a lot of fan attraction and he was a food addict. He couldn't keep his temper due to his habit. Stephen also had pain addiction and asked the doctors continuously for pill support. He even got kicked out of the hospital as he ordered a pizza from the hospital window. He denied the doctor's help. Number six, Janine Weller. And now I live alone and I spend just about every moment of every day either eating or getting food. Janine was a participant who continuously argued with the doctors and ordered fast food all day. She would always order jumbo food packs. She was targeted to lose a pound a day, but she only lost almost two pounds a week. That was somehow discouraging. Number seven, Shen Murray. I'm the only child to my mother and father, and my dad always worked. So instead of me being a daddy's little girl. Shen was so stubborn that the doctors began to doubt whether she really wanted to lose weight or not. She claimed that she started eating healthy, but in actuality, her husband sneaked her pizza and burgers inside the hospital. Eventually, the doctor was tired and she didn't get her weight loss surgery. Instead, she gained an additional 47 pounds before leaving the show. Number eight. Robert Buchel. Robert Buchel came on the show with almost 850 pounds, and that demanded a strong intervention by the doctors. Not only did he weigh far more than his average recommended weight, but he was also addicted to painkillers. It made the situation a tad difficult. However, being passionate about his weight loss journey, Buchel struggled well and started to gain control over his obsessive overeating habits. He was able to lose 350 pounds in total with the help of his mother and fiance. The removal of a large mass made Buchel depressed. Thus, he once again fell into his compulsiveness and started taking painkillers. Number 9. Penny Sager I let food be the way that I found solace. It is not an easy thing to appear on My 600 Pound Life. The whole process demands a lot of courage. However, some people are just not ready to conquer their food addiction. The same thing happened to Penny Sager. She appeared on the show with a ray of hope. 
At first, she controlled her diet and lost some pounds, but after her gastric bypass, she began gaining weight instead of losing it. It is for sure that her addiction compelled her to eat food without any calorie control. She was so devastated and uncertain with herself that she quit the program along with the advice of Dr. Now. Number 10. Mercedes Cephas. She was a victim of horrendous childhood trauma and began overeating to cope with the sufferings. She weighed above 770 pounds and showed her willingness to start her weight loss journey. She also had a painful lymphedema and wanted to struggle so that she could live normally. However, she was not able to put enough effort and could not qualify for weight loss surgery. She gave a lot of excuses telling why she had lost only 80 pounds and was eventually taken off TV. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.